Welcome to the Hank Cisco Show, ladies and gentlemen. Don't touch that dial. This is a unique show today. We're going to talk about a lot of little things, real fast and furious. Uh, something about the, you know, this is my 21st year, uh, my show. So this is the first show uh, for the year. And uh, we have a whole new crew here uh, at Norristown High School. So I welcome my new crew behind the cameras. And uh, I want to say that uh, I don't have a guest today because I was at the groundbreaking at the uh, Einstein uh, Montgomery Hospital uh, uh, groundbreaking. And, uh, and I met the uh, marketing agent and their person and also the communication guy. And I asked, how about coming on my show? And they says, okay, we'll, uh, we'll call you and uh, we'll confirm it. Well, here's the phone. I haven't heard anything, so I'm waiting for your call. Maybe later you come on my show. So this show today is going to be a lot about a lot of things, about what's going on in Norristown, something new. And let me tell you, there are a lot of good things going on in Norristown. So let me start here. La Roma, La Roma Pizzeria on the corner of Marshall and DeKalb Street, they are, red, are celebrating 50 years, 50 years in business. Pizzeria, cheese steaks and the whole bit, you know. And uh, Anthony and Carbo and Michelle Carbo, and they're going to, on, in October, they're going to have an appreciation day. And, and across from the, the uh, uh, restaurant, they're going to have a uh, pony rides and a, and a celebration, a lot of uh, free food and all. And uh, so that's, and, and, and they have a special now, $5, all pizzas, any, any pizza, five bucks, you can't beat that. Uh, and also, uh, the two uh, uh, Gallo brothers, Rick and Alfonso, they bought the um, Holy Savior School, and they, they renovated the, uh, the cafeteria, and now it's a banquet hall. You have weddings, uh, uh, banquets, fundraising, the whole bit, and it can hold 500 people. Let me tell you, that is great. When you can have a, here in Norristown, where we have banquets and they'll have valet parking, so that's something good. Now, another thing that just opened, and I was a, able to do the ribbon cutting, uh, the Times Herald, uh, the Sant'Angelo, Sant'Angelo, uh, restaurant in back in the back of the Contaluna Macaroni Factory on East Main Street. Uh, Dave Farragut, who uh, owns the um, roofing company there, uh, he bought the building and he's going to keep that uh, building. Uh, it, was a, it was a macaroni factory, Contaluna, which Contaluna means singing moon, and and he's in the back. And let me tell you, Mike Santangelo, his wife, and also his mother-in-law, they run the place. And let me tell you. Good sandwiches. And one little thing about Mike Santangelo. Mike Santangelo was, uh, wanted to become a policeman in Norristown, and he went to the police academy. He graduated police academy, and when he graduated police academy, he got an automobile accident, and he lost part of his arm. So he couldn't become a policeman. So he went in business with a restaurant, and he has a successful restaurant down there. I'm telling you, it is great. You know. Now, one other thing going on. It's on October 12th, on October 12th, it's Columbus Day celebration at the, at the fountain. Uh, we have a beautiful fountain there on, on uh, out Elmwood Park. Stop there around 11.30. We're going to have an outstanding speaker. And uh, Pat Mascara is also um, helping out. And uh, you'll hear more about the, the new, uh, formulating a new committee for the Columbus Committee. And we're going to, you're going to see beautiful lighting, water fountains flowing, just like in Vegas, right at the monument there at Harding Boulevard and Sturger Street. So another thing is um, the uh, association, uh, Campania, has a trip going to Italy. You know, if anybody wants to go to Italy, you got to October 11th, beautiful sightseeing in Italy. That's a local organization that's having here. Also, one other thing, we have, uh, this is the monument, at the Columbus Monument, that you'll see uh, uh, computer right lights, computer water, just like in Vegas. So. That's one thing that's going on. Another thing, on, uh, in, on October, uh, October the 19th, the Times Herald is going to have the Expo, Expo Exposition at the Presidential. Where are we going to go over there? So what happened, <laughs> I'm going to, and, and, and they have all different uh, stations, something to do. It's good for wellness. It's good for your, you can talk to doctors, law, not lawyers. Well, lawyers, they help you too. But, uh, but uh, all of these different things, that booths that will help you in the community. So uh, mark them dates down, really. There's a lot of things going on, you know? And one other thing, but you know, sometimes uh, you get the good with the thing. We hear all of a sudden, I pick up the newspaper, 
and they hear that the, the zoo it needs two hundred thousand dollars, or they're going to do uh, they're going to close up, you know. And then, uh, and then next thing you know, I hear they're going to they're going to they're going to close maybe to close up at the end of the year. They're going to raffle off a Mercedes, you know. Maybe if they close up, maybe to raffle off some of the animals and they make some money, you know. Everybody will take an animal home, you know. Take <laughs> I don't know, but that's that's something to think about. But uh, these are the things that are going on. And, uh, and one other thing, I pick up the Philadelphia paper. You know, everybody goes down to South Philly and that long 9th Street with the Italian markets, you know, where remember the movie Rocky with Rocky running up 9th Street with all of, you know, you know and, he's, and he's punching the bat, punching that meat, you know. Well, that, you know, the, that's for hundreds of years, not hundreds of years, but a long time. People was out there with the little stands selling apples, fish, and the whole bit. Now the city... The city turned around and says, well, you got to change this. Can't have this. Can't have this. You know, uh, you can't got to clean the place up. But, you know, it's a tradition. You know, it's a tradition that, and I think they're moving a little too fast. But I, I want to quote one councilman that stated, he says, you know, he says, just to come in and, and, and close police people down and chase them out and all. And a, a tradition has been there, the Italian market. He says, there's got to be a better way of treating customers even though they're wrong. It might be wrong what they're doing, but it's a great thing, okay? So, you know, these, these are a lot of things that, that, you know, that's going on in, in Norristown. But let's, let's talk about a couple other things. And I've got everything here. Now, let's, how about the new hospital, okay? The new hospital. Let's talk about what's going to happen to the old hospital, Montgomery Hospital. I remember I, I used to drive the emergency wagon, and, uh, and I take the patients into the, to the hospital there. Uh, I've had um, colon cancer, and I had uh, prostate cancer. I was treated at Montgomery Hospital. I, I had two hip replacements, you know, all at Montgomery Hospital. So I'm going to miss that hospital. They say, well, it's old. You know, Independence Hall is old, too. And so is the White House in Washington old. Are they going to knock it down? They want to knock it down. What do you want to knock it down for? It don't even make sense. But, you know, why can't they? I like to hear people write in or call in. Let me know. Say, hey, maybe they ought to be a, an extension of a college. Maybe some college will say, well, I want to make a branch there in, here in Norristown. That would help bring people in. And also maybe they just spent $2.5 two million on a new cancer machine. Uh, and, you know, and all of a sudden, they're going to close it down. You know, it, it, you know, maybe they could have that cancer machine right there, just like uh, they have other uh, specialized in cancer treatment, you know. Uh, also, it, they talked about a nursing home. It could be a nursing home, you know. But they knock the building down, and then what are they going to come up with? But I like to hear a lot of people. A lot of people ought to come up and say, hey, let's do this. Listen to the people. Who makes the laws? The people make the laws. Who, who sends these guys to Washington and, and Harrisburg and, and, and council and all? It's the people. The people make the law. People send them up there. So it's... Be heard every once in a while. Pick up the phones. Write a letter. You know, take a course in writing. You know, don't don't ask me for advice on that because I, I you can't read my writing. I'm I'm worse than a doctor when I my my writing. But uh, and I used to, when I I went out with the Rittenhouse Junior High School, we had a we had a um, uh, a school a, a teacher taught us writing. You know, she was great, Dr. Uh, Miss Shelley, if anybody remembers. Okay, now we're going to take a little pause right now, and I'm going to see my friend. Dr. Blasco's son, who uh, lives, in, lives in Italy and conducts in, in Russia. Here's a young guy that's really famous. And we, he's going to come back to Norristown. I met him there before he went back to, to, uh, to uh, Italy. And he's going to come, and we're going to have a concert, the Benefit Theater here in Norristown. So let's look at it. Watch him conduct it in Russia. Local kid makes good.
what I call class. Dr. Blasco's son lives in Italy and conducts and goes all over different parts of, uh, of Europe. And now he's coming back here and he's going to uh, help us with a fundraiser here for the, for the theater. And, uh, but this, ladies and gentlemen, this is our first show of the season. And believe me, we have a lot of good things lined up. Doctors, lawyers, politicians, you know, I, I have a doctor who's going to talk about knee replacement, hip replacements, uh, colon cancer, the whole bit. Something to keep you alive. And if you want to be alive, watch this show. And don't forget, we were covered by Comcast, uh, Comcast 28 and Verizon 45, okay? And, and then we go worldwide, Internet, too. Check us out. The Cisco Show. The Cisco Kid. All right, so... Uh, and I'm also waiting, still waiting for a call from Einstein uh, Montgomery, uh, Montgomery Hospital uh, it's supposed to come on my show. So I'm waiting for the call. The phone didn't ring. So we'll go on with the show. Uh, now, did you check? No, they're not down in the lobby. All right. Now, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, in October, or uh, it's 20, uh, on August the 26th, Mother Teresa, 100 years old, they celebrated at the shelter at the corner of, of Chestnut and DeKalb Street. And I, I helped uh, be part of it. They had a mass at 10 o'clock and then a bishop come in and did a mass. But here's Mother Teresa came here 26 years ago and set up a, a shelter. And it's a successful to help the people, street people and uh, uh, homeless people. And, and, and everybody thought, well, no, we don't want it in town. But they had a fight and it's there and it's been successful and helpful. In fact, the same time that Mother Teresa came here, we started our Columbus uh, Monument back in, uh, uh, in 19, uh, with the same time that Mother Teresa came here. The same day we started our Columbus Monument. So we have a lot in common. Mother Teresa up there, okay, we're thinking about you. So, took care of us, okay? We'll talk to you. And, and I understand you're working on her becoming a saint. You got my vote. All right, here we go. Now, uh, about, we talk about Art Hill. I don't know if you know what Art Hill is. 
but that's on DeKalb Street where the theater is. And you want to come to Norristown and take a look at the, the streets that are lit. That, uh, DeKalb Street looks like Broadway. You know, you think you're in Broadway, New York, with, uh, with the Broadway, all the lights. And also the street markings, you know, uh, crosswalks. Or, and uh, it's, it's, it's just a great thing to ride up and down. But the only thing I have, you know, I always, you know, the good and the bad. But I live in a 1700 block of Powell Street, and I'm telling you, it's dark. There's no lights. There's only one or two lights. So I got to talk to somebody, get up there and take a look and put some lights on my street. And that will have to open up a theater there on my, on my, on my street so we can have some lights. Uh, uh, how about, uh, uh, you know, if, uh, how, about, how about calling call me or send a message or call a newspaper if you have a problem and you think something will work in Norristown? Let be heard, okay? And about the zoo. You know, the zoo wants $200,000. I don't know. I, 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 I lived in Norristown a long, long, long time. I was a policeman here for 24 years, a county detective, former boxer, went traveled all over the world and boxing and all. And here's a zoo that don't pay no taxes, don't pay no rent, and, and yet they want $200,000 to keep alive. And it, it's not called the Norristown Zoo. Every other zoo in the country is called the Bronx Zoo, the Philadelphia Zoo, the St. Louis Zoo, you know, so we should take credit. So God bless them, and I hope that uh, they, they survive. The animals survive, anyhow. Uh, and how about the condominium up there on uh, Sandy Street where, uh, where the poor people uh, that, that bought the condominiums, now they find out the building wasn't built right and everybody got chased out. And now the poor people, are, they have to go uh, rent a house. Uh, they have no place to live. So somebody's responsible. Somebody has to be responsible and, uh, and, and pay, pay for it. So that, uh, that, uh, that's a little political thing now, but I think the district attorney is now involved with a... Uh, grand jury. So we'll see what comes out on that. Now, and, uh, and how about the POW? The POW made uh, $37,000. I understand that they sold a locker of uh, one of the, one of the, the flyers, a, a locker that holds sweaty, sweaty clothes for $37,000. That's pretty good. And they made two hundred fifties. So I, why can't Norristown have fundraisers to help pay for parades, public relation, uh, the, the, the maintaining the zoo and all? We, we could a little fundraiser like, uh, the, the fundraiser they do for the PAL and for the, and for the zoo. Call it for Norristown, to help Norristown. There's a lot of people that want to help out, and, and we could do that, because it, it, it wouldn't be taxpayers' money. A lot of people want, to, want Norristown to be a success. We're in the middle of revitalization, and I think that's great. Uh, uh, now, how about, uh, you know, how about the theater? We're working on a theater. We have uh, Stan Husky the, and uh, I know John Doyle and Fran Doyle and uh, the committee. Uh, and I know Dr. Uh, uh, Stan, Stan Husky and, and also um, uh, Pat Mascara and the, quite a few other people are helping to raise money to get a theater here in Norristown. And let me tell you, a theater is a great thing. It brings people, a different clientele of people of Norristown. They come to Norristown for restaurants, recreation, uh, worship, and the whole bit, okay? So look what happened in Ambler. You go to Ambler, they've got beautiful restaurants, they've got a theater, they get the whole bit. You go to... You go to Phoenixville, you go there, there's a restaurant almost every corner, and people all over the place. You know, go there, look and see what's going on in these other towns. And, and Norristown, we're the county seat, and we shouldn't be playing second fiddle to anybody. We should be right up front, and especially our schools, our, our, our schools here in Norristown. We have the greatest uh, uh, school district, uh, the schools here that are clean, they're on the ball, and you know, you don't see any graffiti. I, you know, I bring a lot of guests in from all over, different walks of life, politicians and police officers. And let me tell you, you come here, our school, our schools are clean. And so our students are good, good students. And it, it is a concept, uh, concept, or I don't know what you call it, uh, an image, not an image, uh, something, all oh, Norristown. But let me tell you, we are the county seat and we are moving forward, okay? And, and, uh, and the students we have in our schools today are the ones that will be the leaders and they're the ones that's gonna move forward. So we're 100% for it, okay? And uh, it will help Norristown grow, all right? The Times Herald, the Expo, let's, let's uh, go to that, okay? It's a lot of good things there for health. A lot of, there'll be uh, stations for doctors, dentists, you know, the whole bit, okay? Now, the Columbus Day celebration I mentioned, the 12th, we're gonna have a, a very renowned speaker. And uh, Pat Mascara is in, involved in, in coordinating uh, this uh, affair. 
And you're going to see a lot of good things. So North 10 is on the move, okay? So look for more in the newspaper, and, uh, and you'll see what's going on. Uh, uh, and then, well, one other thing, you know, I, uh, the fountains. You go by there, you'll see the fountains running. I, I got a call from uh, somebody turned the fountains off. They said that we're using too much water. I had to go tell them, you know, that fountain's been there for 26 years. It don't use extra water. Just fill it one time, it recycles. They didn't know, you know. So sometime you have to inform people that they're never around when things started. They weren't around here in, in 19, when, whenever it started. Uh, so, you know, if we don't shine the light on a problem, then we're all going to be in the dark, okay? So when you see something wrong, you, you think that you want to do something about the community, don't hesitate to get involved somehow or other, okay? Now, I always have these words of wisdom. They call the words of wisdom. With my, all my years of experience, boxing, refereeing, different places, and growing up in Norristown, let me tell you. They say, if you want to walk on water, you got to know what the rocks are, okay? Got to know what the rocks are. When you go there, you want to know who's in charge. That's, remember that. If you want to walk on water, you got to know what the rocks are, okay? And don't forget, all sunshine makes deserts, okay? Don't expect every day to be shiny, sunny, sunny and sunny. You know, you're going, to have the, you're going to have the rain and the hail. If you want a beautiful garden, you have to have the rain, the snow, the hail, and you have a beautiful garden. If you want all sunshine, go to Sahara Desert. Nobody's there. You can get rent free. Who wants to go? I don't want it. All right. How about this here one? There's two types of honor students, two types. The one in school who's an honor student and also the student in court who says, yes, your honor, and no, your honor. So when you're going through school, don't get any kind of record. Get a good report record, good marks, and don't get in trouble. Don't have a, a criminal record of any kind, a juvenile delinquent record, because if you do, it's going to stop you. And don't forget, some of these people, they say, you're upper crust. You know the upper crust. You know who the upper crust are? They're a bunch of crumbs stuck together. So we're all good people. We're all together. So ladies and gentlemen, here it is. My show is over, the first show in 21 years, and most of the students behind them cameras weren't even born when I came here 21 years ago. So God bless you, each and every one of you, and God bless the Norristown School District for allowing me to come in here to express my opinions, okay? So until we meet again, keep bobbing and weaving, slip and slide, and don't worry about the mule going blind, get in a wagon and hold the line, okay? God bless each and every one of you. There we go. Bow, bow.